I am literally counting the days until the long-awaited return of A Game of Thrones. We might finally get some answers to all of these questions the show has been giving us over the last eight years. If you've got a free two days, 15 hours, and 30 minutes lying around, you could rewatch every single episode back to back. But assuming you have work to do and showers to take, that may not be possible. Allow us to narrow it down for you. Here are Sci-Fi Wire's most essential episodes you gotta rewatch before the final season of Game of Thrones begins. Winter is Coming Season 1, Episode 1. Let's start at the beginning. The pilot episode of Game of Thrones works like the map you find at the beginning of every great fantasy book. Or, you know, like a pilot. A breakdown about what each one has at stake and a look at what threatens them all. Rewatching how it all started is a great way to realize just how far we've come together. And we get to see all the Starks together for the first and kind of the last time. You got fat. <laughs> it's bittersweet, but it's worth a rewatch. The Children, Season 4, Episode 10. In the season finale, Brienne comes this close to fulfilling her oath to Catelyn Stark when she happens to run into Arya as they are both bumming around the Riverlands. I swore to your mother I would bring you home to her. Had the Hound not interrupted their lovely conversation, who knows? Arya could have been back at Winterfell playing with Needle, dreaming of becoming an assassin, instead of running away from them both and heading to Braavos to become an assassin for real. The Door, Season 6, Episode 5. Okay, insert every hold the door joke you know, go for it. But there is another big reveal in this episode beyond that iconic scene. Specifically the fact that the White Walkers were created by the children of the forest from men to defeat men as a means of defending themselves from their human enemies. They did not see that coming. Bran learns all of this before warging into Hodor to save he and Mira, showing just how powerful he has become. Hodor. Hodor. Hard Home, Season 5, Episode 8. Known for its massive cinematic battle scene, Hard Home offered another epic moment for fans, albeit a bit more quietly. Even though Danny's main goal is to take the Iron Throne, her interaction with Tyrion is the first she's had with any Westerosi power player. This alliance with Danny sets up the endgame that will finally play out in the final season. You're going to need to inspire devotion, a lot of it, if you're ever going to rule across the narrow sea. Also, oh boy, when that Night King stands up at the end of the dock in this episode, chills and nightmares for days. Watch it for that alone. The Winds of Winter, Season 6, Episode 10. This episode begins with a bang, literally. Instead of standing trial in front of the High Sparrow, Cersei blows up the Great Sept of Baelor and all her enemies in it. I would watch just for Marjorie Terrell's sixth sense that something is wrong alone. Something wrong. The opening scene is 10 minutes filled with tension and release, and Cersei finally becomes the Mad Queen we always kind of thought she would be. Little does she know that another queen has finally gotten her ships and is setting sail straight to Westeros. And guess what? She doesn't like Cersei very much. The Spoils of War, Season 7, Episode 4. So this episode includes the groundbreaking loot train battle. The Lannister army versus Daenerys, and just one of her dragons, was her first display of might to the people of Westeros. And it's really the first time the viewers get to see the dragons in battle. This is the first time they light up an army. After that fiery smackdown, who wouldn't bend the knee to Daenerys? But we also see Cersei's plotting play out in a negotiation with the Iron Bank to secure her own mercenaries called the Golden Company. Maybe not as dramatic as fire-breathing dragons, but possibly just as effective in the final season. You can count on the Iron Bank's support. The Dragon and the Wolf, Season 7, Episode 7. It should go without saying that if you can watch nothing else, go ahead and watch last season's finale. Jaime finally defies Cersei and vows to fight for the living. Samwell Tarly and Bran discover that not only is Jon a Targaryen, he's a legitimate Targaryen, not a bastard, as he once thought. His name is Echo Targaryen. And John and Danny don't know that yet. They bone and she's his aunt. And if that wasn't enough, the wall comes tumbling down so the Night King and the Army of the Dead can finally make their big move. Soon, our watch begins, fans. So stay up late, call in sick, do whatever you have to do, but make sure you get caught up before the final battle. <laughs>